they get all nervous because they don't know if it's true or not. So they start looking at you to see if it's actually a wig. But they, they try not to be too obvious. <laughs> let's say you're going down the mall. You ever go to the mall and they have these vendors in the middle of the mall selling stuff? You know, like Rosetta Stone, for example? I'm minding my own business, having my little Starbucks coffee, walking down the mall. And the guy from Rosetta Stone flagged me down. Sir, sir, get a second. So I said, all right. <laughs> I'm trying to mind my own business, all right. So I walk over towards him. And he says, uh, before he started talking, I said to him, Então, vocês estão vendo vender livros e cassetes para pessoas ir para vender outra língua? He says, I'm sorry, I didn't understand you. So I say, vocês estão aqui a vender livros e cassetes para pessoas ir para vender outra língua? He goes, I'm sorry, I still didn't understand you. So I said, then that shit that you're selling doesn't work, does it? I have to translate? Yeah, I have to. But not everybody speaks Portuguese? No, not everybody. Learn it, you're in Hudson. <laughs> right? So I'm going down the mall, you know, still in the same mall. There's another guy selling the home security systems. Excuse me, sir, sir. Do you own a home, sir, sir? I said, okay. <laughs> yeah. I go, says, he says, do you own a home, sir? I said, yeah, I own a home. He goes, do you have a security system? And I say, I used to. Oh, what happened? What happened was I bought a system from your company <laughs> to protect my house. Some thief broke into my house and stole the system. <laughs> he says, what happened? I said, I bought a security system from you guys to protect my house. Some thief broke into my house and stole the system. He goes, I never heard of that before. He says, well, we don't brag about it. <laughs> It's embarrassing enough without telling anybody, please. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Just fun stuff like that. You gotta, you gotta mess with people, right? Yeah. Joke around with them. Yeah. You know, I have some notes in my pocket in case I forget where I'm at. Let's see. That's not it. Oh, okay, here it is. All right, folks, it was a great show. Thank you for coming out. No. Oh, these are out of sequence. Huh? Too many jokes already. Too many jokes already. Okay. Where, where am I at? I did a lot of these stupid things. I can't remember them. Oh. I used to work with a German guy that spoke, spoke English, but not that much. Every time somebody had a birthday, we would uh, get him a cake for break time, and we'd sing happy birthday. So I told all the guys at work, hey, why don't we sing it in German? They said, we don't know how to sing German. I said, I'm from Europe, I'll teach you. <laughs> so I'm trying to teach them how to sing the song, and they're not really picking up on it. I said, relax. I wrote it all down, made some copies. We went in the break room and rehearsed three or four times. And then we called Franz over. Hey, Franz, come on over. He walks in, and we start singing Happy Birthday in German. And then one of the ladies said, hey, what do you think of that? We sung to you in German. He goes, that wasn't German. They all looked at me. I said, sounded German to me. <laughs> right? Sounded German to me too. <laughs> I mean, these are true stories, by the way. These aren't jokes. That's why I can't remember. What? Are, oh, what? what? <laughs> Honey baked ham? Did they have those around here? Oh, yeah. I went to Honey Bay Camp to buy a little a sandwich for lunch, and the lady there was giving out little samples of the key lime pie. She had these little cups with key lime pie in it with a little spoon. And I tasted it, I said, you know what? That tastes good, I'll take a slice of that. She said, no, no, we don't sell it by the slicer, you have to buy the whole pie. I said, well, how much is a pie? $8.95. No, I don't want to buy a whole pie. I just want a little slice. No, you can't do that. So I said, well, how much are those little samples? <laughs> and she said, oh, come on now. You know those are free. I said, I'll take 20 of those. <laughs> they were good. <laughs> and one time, uh, my brother-in-law, Vasco, was down in Florida with us. We went to Walmart. The ladies were shopping. 
We saw two couples. The guys were very bored. They were joking around while the lady shopped. So because they were joking around, I jumped right in. <laughs> so we had a good time talking to them. Every time we saw them, we'd talk to them, we'd talk about some other things and joke around. And then at the end, I'm over by the front where they have the nail salon and the, uh, the uh, hair salon and the, the way they take the photos of the kids and that kind of stuff. And they had a hearing aid test going on. They had a, a hearing aid police, you know, hearing stuff. And I saw those two guys over at the register about 30 yards from us. And I said to him, <laughs> and he said, oh. I said, oh. <laughs> so I finally said, they have free hearing tests. <laughs> hey, good thing we have this light here. So I, I decided I was going to join the gym, start working out. $29 a month, they said. I said, it's a good deal. Place called Anytime Fitness, you can go wherever you want. You have a key, you at night, whenever you want. So they signed me up with Bruce. I thought Bruce was going to show me how to work out. Bruce wanted to put me in this program. <laughs> and so he told me about uh, eating the right amount of food, and the right amount of carbs, and the, you know, the, the uh, fruits, and this and that, and the right amount of, of cardio compared to weight, weight, you know, lifting weights. And he's got this whole thing. He sounded pretty interested. And I, I said, you know, this guy sounds like he knows what he's talking about. Maybe I'll do that. How much is the program? He said, $1,200, $1,200. I said, buddy, I'm in no shape to work out. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> so one time, I went, this is years ago, but I went to Wendy's with my, my son and his friends, and my son is a vegetarian. He doesn't like vegetables, but he's a vegetarian. <laughs> By the way, I am also a vegetarian. Because when I was doing comedy, I wasn't making any money, but people were throwing tomatoes and lettuce. The guys got eat. <laughs> so my son orders a baked potato with sour cream and chives. I'm at the drive-thru. And the lady that this says, I'm sorry, sir, we're out of baked potatoes. They're in the oven. It's going to be about 45 minutes. Most guys would have said, OK, then I'll take something else. I said, OK. Um, so instead of the sour cream and chives, can you just do it with a little broccoli and cheese? She said, no, no, we don't have any baked potatoes right now. They're in the oven. They can take about 45 minutes. She said, forget the broccoli and cheese then. Can you put some chili over it? I said, no, no, sir, we don't have any potatoes. Right now they're in the oven. It's going to take about 45 minutes. I said, you know what, forget the, forget the whole thing. Just give us a baked potato with butter. <laughs> so next thing I know, the back door of the Wendy's opens up, and the manager comes flying out. Sir, the young girl lady is trying to tell you that we don't have any baked potatoes. I said. Why didn't she say so? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, this is too much. What else do I have here? Uh, anybody get calls from telemarketers? Oh, Those pesky telemarketers trying to sell you something. So when they call my house and they say, could I speak to Tony Cabral? <laughs> I know that they don't know me. <laughs> but I'm sitting at home doing nothing. I could use a little excitement. <laughs> so I say, all right, you can. Go ahead. And they go through this field. Well, Mr. Cable, the reason why we call is because we have these special programs. <laughs> and they go through this field. And then they put the clothes on you. So if we can set it up for a 30-day free trial, and we won't even charge your card until after the 30 days. And if you don't, for some reason you don't want it, you can return it. What is your use of Visa or MasterCard? That's their clothes. Don't say anything for about three or four seconds. And then you say, oh, OK, thanks for holding. How can I help you? <laughs> and they start to just feel again. Like, I said, no, nah, I'm, I'm just kidding. But if they're, if they're really, really pushy, because sometimes they won't take no for an answer, after a while, I say, are you looking for junior or senior? <laughs> and they'll say, I don't know. Me neither. Call back when you find out. <laughs> so sometimes they call back. <laughs> they didn't learn their lesson. So now, if they're going again and they're really pushing, 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 I say, listen, can you do me a favor? I got to go to the bathroom. Can you hold on a second? I don't have a cordless phone, so I gotta unplug this one from the wall and plug it into the other room, and then I'll be able to talk to you. Hold on! And you hang up on. 
Some of them are dumb enough to call back. So when they call back, you, you sound like you're in the bathroom. You say, oh, thanks for calling back. <laughs> and then they go through this spiel again. And I say, wait a minute. Well, hold on, hold on. I'm out of toilet paper. Honey, can you get me some toilet paper? And if they still want to talk at that point, you say, listen, my wife just told me that I'm really low on my minutes. Can you call me next week? <laughs> because I'll be able to talk freely with you next week. Right now, I'm short on the minutes, you know what I mean? I'm a little low on the minutes. <laughs> oh my God, that's too much. So, um, maybe I should see if I can do some magic tricks, but I gotta switch microphones. Let's see if